Since the end of last year, CBS 17 has been investigating serious staffing shortages mm -hmm. at the 911 center. And we uncovered that for nearly six months, the city didn't have enough people to staff that center. New at 11, CBS 17's Amy Cutler has been pushing for answers, and the city finally got back to her today. I started looking into the Durham 911 Center back in December. The city said a COVID outbreak led to a staffing shortage, but I quickly found out there were much bigger problems. Raleigh Center helped out, answering some of their calls for nearly six months. How bad was it? The city finally responded to my months old records request. I spent the day digging through it. In one complaint, EMS says a medical call was pending for nine minutes. Durham didn't have it on their end. The fire department and EMS submitted 55 complaints from December to May. They involved delays, wrong addresses, wrong responses, and people who stopped by fire stations when they called 911 and no one answered. Staffing levels at the center between December and May, that's when Raleigh was helping take calls, show on several occasions there were just two people working at the center. One needed to dispatch for EMS, another for police, means there was no one to actually take any calls. What about people who called 911 and hung up after no one picked up? They're referred to as abandoned calls. The city couldn't provide numbers. They say they don't track them. Along with my request came this explanation from the city. While the center is not where it needs to be, its management is taking urgent and appropriate steps. They tell me they've hired nine people, two of them trainers. They've streamlined their training from 12 to 8 weeks. They're reviewing their workplace environment and are offering bonuses. Now, back on June 1st, Durham started taking all of its own calls. As part of our push in our reporting efforts, Durham has started providing more information on the center on its website. According to that data, they have 24 open positions. Live in Durham, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News. And I know there's a lot more you'll be digging through and getting answers to. Amy, thank you.